in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light a reflection on the day's readings it's the 8th of march friday of the third week of lent we remember today saint john of god a religious today we mark international women's day so greetings to all women on your special day now let's pay attention to the first reading of the day a reading from prophet hosea chapter 14 verses 1 to 9 thus says the lord return o israel to the lord your god for you have stumbled because of your iniquity take with you words and return to the lord say to him take away all iniquity except what is good and we will pay with bulls the vows of our lips assyria shall not save us we will not ride on horses and we will say no more our god to the work of our hands in you the orphan finds mercy i will heal their apostasy i will love them freely for my anger has turned from them i will be like the dew to israel he shall blossom like the lily he shall take root like the trees of lebanon his shoots shall spread out his beauty shall be like the olive and his fragrance like lebanon they shall return and dwell beneath my shadow they shall flourish like the corn they shall blossom like the vine their fame shall be like the wine of lebanon o ephraim what have i to do with idols it is i who answer and look after you i am like an evergreen cypress from me comes your fruit whoever is wise let him understand these things whoever is discerning let him know them for the ways of the lord are right and the upright walk in them but transgressors stumble in them the word of the lord thanks be to god few things are more painful than the betrayal of an unfaithful spouse that's why the book of hosea is especially moving for us it portrays god's relationship with israel through hosea's heartbreaking marriage through hosea's stubborn love for his adulterous wife God reveals his unchanging covenant love for unfaithful Israel. Return to the Lord. He pleads over and over again. Today, just as in Hosea's time, God continues to plead with his people to come back to him. Since Lent is all about God's call, to come home let's listen for his voice in the words of hosea you have collapsed through your guilt we all know how oppressive the burden of guilt can be even if we gloss over our offenses 
unrepented sin can weigh us down like a heavy chain tangled around us sometimes we even carry guilt over sins we have already confessed still our faithful god calls to us let me lift this weight that exhausts you and drags you down take with you words god knows that the act of confessing our sins is the first step toward freedom naming them aloud is the best way to bring them into the light where the lord can free us isn't this what happens in confession our words of repentance have the power to unlock the chains that have dragged us down it's not always easy though to find the right words but that doesn't matter to the lord we can begin by saying father i have sinned confess your sins god implores i am ready to forgive i will heal their defection this promise can give us the courage we need to return to god not only will he forgive us but he will heal us of the urges and drives that cause us to sin every time we turn to him in confession and encounter his love our hearts melt a little bit more and we find it a little bit easier to act out of love instead of selfishness he cries out come and be healed whether it has been a short while or many years since your last confession go go this weekend return to the lord your god lord have mercy on me a sinner the psalm my dear friends gives us god's reassuring word that if we make god a number one choice god will provide the best food for us we are told that not only will water flow from the rock but also honey god will not only take care of our needs but also give us sweetness besides if we listen to our god and walk in god's ways let's pray that psalm now your response i am the lord your god listen to my voice i am the lord your god listen to my voice a voice i did not know said to me i freed your shoulder from the burden your hands were freed from the builder's basket you called in distress and i delivered you i am the lord your god listen to my voice i answered concealed in the thunder at the waters of meriba i tested you listen my people as i warn you o israel if only you would heed i am the lord your god listen to my voice let there be no strange god among you nor shall you worship a foreign god i am the lord your god who brought you up from the land of egypt i am the lord your god listen to my voice o oh, that my people would heed me that israel would walk in my ways but israel i would feed with finest wheat and satisfy with honey from the rock i am the lord your god listen to my voice glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now 
and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Father Deepak Thomas, Carmelite, Swizzel Liana Pinto from Mangalore, Arun D'Souza from Mudbidri, Delvin Moniz from Mudbidri, Ethan Kian Fernandez from Kinnigoli, Frida D'Souza from Belman, presently in Mira Road, Dr. Josvin Martha from Bengaluru. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. And we pray for the departed soul of Lily Mathias from Mudbele Udupi. May the Lord grant her eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.